Tom's top five. Hi everyone, Tom Ball from Sun Racing here with my top five for the first couple of days of the Doncaster St. Ledger Festival. Yes, it is back. The St. Ledger meeting, the last classic of the year. And there are plenty of exciting supporting races on the undercards each day. And first up, I'm looking at the Scarborough Stakes, the listed race over five furlongs, which has attracted a very strong field including Moss Gill, who ran so well in an Unthorpe Stakes last time out behind Batash. A repeat of that form should be good enough now dropped in grade. We know he can win at listed level. And I think despite the fact he's got to give weight to a few of his rivals, he is the classiest horse in this race. And James Bethel has done really well with the sprint, and I think he can land another big pot here. Second up, I really like Mubtasima in the Scepter Stakes. This horse has been very good form this year so far. Wasn't quite at the best last time out of Chelmsford, but had previously won really nicely from the front. And and I think this horse is still going places for William Haggis. The Scepter Stakes should be right up her alley. And I think Group 3 honours will be coming her way this time. The ground's come right for her. I think she'll, the trip will be absolutely perfect. And I could see her going very well in the Scepter Stakes, which has been moved back to Wednesday this year. Now, on to Thursday. And I really fancy Zaki to overturn Logician. Now, of course, we all know Logician is having won last year's St. Ledger in very, very good style. But he's had a long time off the track. Will he be quite as good? And remember, dropping back in trip, Zaki only has six pounds to find with the likely favourite. And I think Sir Michael Stout will have the winner in this race. And Logician might just need this run. So hopefully he can cause the upset in that race. Later on the card on Thursday is the £200,000 two-year-old stakes. A really, really competitive affair, as you'd expect, for the amount of money on offer. And I'm going to give another chance to Yazaman, who's been disappointing recently, but he has got the best form in the race, has the highest official rating, and at the weights, he should be winning this. And I don't think he's done with just yet. He's possibly slightly going off the boil, but I think back dropping grade now, he can land another win for William Haggis in that. And finally, I really like Believe in Love in the Park Hill Stakes. This filly has improved leaps and bounds this season stepping up in trip for Andrea Zaney and Roger Varian she keeps progressing it's very impressive last time what she did in an amazing time and I think stepping up to one mile six has really helped her so I think she can improve again yes this is a big step up in grade but I think she's going to be capable of it and the way she does progress suggests to me that she can keep rapidly milking her way up through the ranks so hopefully believe in love can land yet another victory of the campaign for Roger Varian. Those are my five for the first couple of days of the St. Ledger meeting. It should be a cracking start to the week, and hopefully we've got some winners in there. Tom's top five.